Hey guys, it's Acacia and welcome back to my channel. We are doing my 33 week pregnancy update. I am 33 weeks pregnant today so happy 33 weeks to me and rosie so we have a lot to talk about in this video today because a lot has gone on in the past two weeks or however long it's been since i last updated you guys it has been a crazy 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 ride tons of ups and downs just all over the place this girl is a troublemaker <laughs> So I went in on my 29 week appointment and I was measuring 26 weeks where they like tape measure like my belly and all that kind of stuff from my from my pelvic bone to the top of my uterus they like feel around and I was measuring 26 weeks which isn't a huge deal because it's just like three weeks smaller it's not like that crazy but I went back in a week and a half ago maybe no a week ago I was 32 weeks and they measured me again and I was still 26 weeks so that is for two weeks I didn't grow and yeah I was six weeks behind so they wanted to book me an ultrasound to make sure that everything was great everything was all good sorry my timeline is all crazy here so that happened I was like kind of worried about that but I a lot of people told me that it was like completely like normal it happened to them their baby is completely fine and normal which could be the case for me still I don't know yet and that it was just like the positioning and all these things and like some babies are just small whatever and then like three days after that i was chilling at home it was actually my like personal night get to just sit and watch tv by myself without brinley without jaris i just like zone out and just like go into my own little bubble and like i do a face mask anyway for some reason I started having like contractions and I was like oh they're just like regular Braxton Hicks contractions like that is so normal but my midwife did say that if I had more than five within an hour to like watch them more intently and if it happened again the next hour to call them so I had about seven to eight in an hour and I was like all right well that's a little like suspicious like I'm gonna keep an eye on them and um, another hour went by and they were coming every six minutes and like 30 seconds ish and I had 10 of them within an hour and I was like oh my gosh I am NOT about to have this baby right now like come on please like please do not let me have this baby right now so I was a little frightened and Jairus was so Brindley was at her grandparents house and Jairus was um, out getting dinner with a friend but it was like right across the street from us so he ran home when I called him and like hopped our fence and like got like all messed up by the blackberry bushes and ran inside and I was like bawling my eyes out because I was so scared because it was like I don't want my baby to have to come out and like go in the NICU and like that's just a scary thing and like as a mom or any parent like that's just scary you don't want that you want your baby to finish growing and be perfectly like great on their own when they come out so I was scared also very hormonal I was just crying he was like everything's fine like it's fine like nothing's going wrong we went into the hospital because we called our midwife got like checked out and literally as soon as we got to the hospital my contractions like started slowing down like wasn't having them really anymore go figure but she like checked my cervix and all that kind of stuff my cervix is 100 percent closed thank the lord that was so nerve-wracking for me they did like a couple tests on me to like see what could be the problem and it's kind of inconclusive on like why that ha happened to me randomly that one night but it did but they're not too worried about it I don't know it only happened for like two and a half hours of like those contractions so maybe my body was just getting extra ready I don't really know but it was very scary I swore I was about to have that baby at 32 weeks pregnant it was crazy it was crazy being in the hospital again uh jared's is like oh man this makes us like so more real and it makes me so more like so much more excited like being back in this we were like two doors down from the room i gave birth in it makes you have butterflies okay now next point in our story we go in for our ultrasound which was four days ago maybe four days ago okay so the hospital in portland that we went to go see wanted an ultrasound at 32 weeks to check up on rosemary and see how everything was going but then also my midwife wanted me to go in for an ultrasound to check like the sizing of her and see how it was 
it like if she was progressing or if it was just like the placement of where she was so we were at our ultrasound keep in mind the last ultrasound we had was when we found out that she had tetralogy of flow and if you're new here she no longer has that we were misdiagnosed so we were kind of like it was kind of nerve-wracking going back in the same place that like diagnosed us with that but we went back they were like checking her out everything like looked good i like watched her heart so intently and i made sure there was four chambers that were all like separated but then they started talking about that her back two ventricles of her brain were enlarged um and i was like oh my god here we go again come on it was just it sucked i'm not gonna lie like i was like I'm so exhausted. I just wanted to come in here, see my daughter's face, and leave. Like, I did not, I did not want to hear anything else that could be wrong with her. Like, please. But, you know, the universe gives you things that you need. And this is one of those things. So, they, after the ultrasound technician was done, the doctor came in and started, like, saying a bunch of stuff i tested negative for like down syndrome and any other type of syndromes so they are ruling that out for the cause of the enlarged ventricles i can't remember what the other thing they like looked for like bleeding i think but there was nothing there basically they ruled out a bunch of stuff except for like a couple things like a bacterial infection which i got my blood drawn for or just like maybe they're just enlarged who really knows so we have a mri scheduled for next week in portland so we're going back up to portland to the big hospital to get an mri and have more ultrasounds and more tests and tons more stuff done we have been just a little on edge recently with how much is like going on and trying to not worry about it and just let it go and let it be whatever it is you know it's it's difficult and it's definitely more difficult the second time around that you hear something's wrong with your child because the first time you feel like really strong and then the second time it's like just ex you're just exhausted but we're trying to keep our head high heads high and we know that everything will be okay no matter what the outcome is no matter what my mri comes back as so that's always just a good thing to remind myself and then they when they were checking her sizing and everything they were a little worried about that still because she's in the eighth percentile for how like big she is like she's only three pounds when she's supposed to be like they think she's really really small and also they have like a hard time getting her heart to accelerate which is like where it gets excited basically it just kind of stays the same a lot so i have to be hooked up to monitors i think twice a week now my midwifery to monitor her heart accelerating just to monitor her like growth and making sure that she's growing like okay and that like nothing's wrong because she's so small so basically everyone's just worried about my baby <laughs> with all of that being said literally nothing could be wrong with her like she could be just perfectly normal with like just slightly enlarged ventricles now and then they could like fizzle out and become like normal size when the rest of her is like done growing she also could come out just like slightly smaller like there's tons and tons of possibilities um for what could be happening and it's like not the end of the world <laughs> and she's gonna be fine and we're all gonna be fine but it, it's been a crazy week for us and it's been an emotional roller coaster and we just want her to be here already and we want to be able to hold her and see her and we wish that there was more that we could do but you know you can only do so much so we're just keeping positive thoughts and that's i mean that's about it i just want to take a moment to any other moms that are going through this currently because here we go as soon as you hear that there's a possibility that something is wrong with your baby inside of you you feel like you're letting someone down and you're letting the people around you down like you did something wrong um, or that you could have done more or you feel like your body is failing you 
and it's a lot it's a lot to deal with and it's really hard to talk yourself out of feeling like that something that Jarrah's told me is that if another mom told me about this situation I wouldn't be mean to her and I would be sympathetic and I would be there for her and I would be loving and I would be sweet and I would be kind to her so why should I do any differently for myself? Why should I be mean to myself? Why should I say negative things to myself if I wouldn't say that to someone else? So if you are feeling the same things as me, take yourself outside of your body and realize that being mean to yourself and talking down to yourself isn't helping anybody and it's only causing more stress on you and more negative emotions that you don't need right now and your baby definitely doesn't need right now. So just keep love in your heart for yourself. I will be doing the same thing. Yeah. I always say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but this video is like kind of weird to say that about. But thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for listening to me vent about my life for a really long time. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I will try to inform you as much as I can when I know whatever I can. Love you guys. Stay rad, stay weird. Stay beautiful. Bye.